Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your February Love Connection reading. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So, Gemini, this has to be an actual connection that you believe you have with somebody, so you have to know them. They have to know you. Uh, basically, you have to know each other and believe there is some sort of connection with them, whether you're together or not. doesn't matter. Let's see if we get the energies here for you. So, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if you have Gemini in those placements. So welcome, Gemini. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope you had a fantastic holiday season. Hope you're having a happy new year. So let's see what's going on for Gemini at this time in love. And I do say at this time, even though this is for February, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, you're more than welcome to. Your playlists are down below in the description box, your love and general readings. Also, as well as how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, um, how to tip or donate or send a gift. All that information is below, and I also will pin some of that information to the top comment down below in the comment section. So, Gemini, welcome, welcome, Gemini. So, please, in this reading, only take what resonates, um, may or may not resonate, or some parts may. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here, Gemini, with this deck, Zodiac deck, we could get a sign, element, or planet, and if you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, that is totally fine. All right. So we have Aquarius, and I just did Aquarius. Wow, that's so funny. I just did Aquarius' reading, so some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, so they could have it in their chart. All right, so with this deck here, first thing I want to do is get an overall sort of like a love connection energy or the energy between you and your person at this time. For Gemini, please, Spirit, thank you so much. What is the energy between Gemini and their person at this time? All right, for Gemini at this, wow, okay. Well, I'm gonna take this one. So we have commit to happiness and we have seven. Seven is a very spiritual divine number. So commit could be committing to happiness here between you and your person. Hmm, we'll see. So somebody is wanting, or you're both wanting to commit to the happiness of this connection. So what I'm gonna do now, Gemini, Oh, I got one already. I was going to put you on this side and your person on this side, but if at any time you feel like the roles are reversed or you feel like you need to switch or flip-flop the energies, please do that anytime throughout this reading as you see fit. This is for male, female, whoever's watching this. doesn't matter. All right, and like I said, only take what resonates. So we're going to put you there. Put your person on the other side, how you're feeling about each other and the connection. We're going to clarify all that energy with the tarot. We'll look at that energy and clarify it. And then we'll look at the actual situation. We'll get some advice for the connection and maybe possible outcome for the connection. And we'll get some closing me messages, oracle messages with that other deck. All right, let me take that one. And my chair is going down, sitting in an office chair. So if you hear that <laughs> it's old, I need a new one. And it just randomly goes, <laughs> so, all right, so. <laughs> Let's see, we have sensitivity, 12, which is three. Three is about coming together, rejoicing, celebrating, you know, working together. So someone's feeling sensitive. Are you feeling sensitive about this person? Or are you just a very sensitive person in general? This is your, your side, or if you feel like that's your person, however it resonates for you. And then over here, we have strength. So you could be dealing with the Leo, but we have... 46, which is 10. Tens are about endings, but there's always a new beginning. So your person is feeling very strong, confident, stable. Uh, they could be very strongly connected to you, feel very strongly about you, but you are sensitive about something. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Flow, which is eight. And eight is all about action, movement, uh, traveling kind of energy, communication. So I think there's a need here to just go with the flow, just let things unfold naturally, just um, just be in the flow, go with the flow, let things unfold naturally, don't rush anything, just let it be fluid. So maybe um, it could be that you're sensitive, very sensitive um, about this connection. Maybe, you know, you want to really solidify and like commit to this person and wanted to really rush it forward. 
and I feel like they're a very strong person. They're very confident. They're very brave. Um, they have willpower. And they don't feel like, I, I don't feel like they feel like the need to like rush it so much. Like they know, like it's a strong connection. Um, and they have that willpower. So let's see. I'm not getting like, I'm getting like, they, they just know, yep, this is a strong connection. This is my person. We're going to be together. We're going to commit moving forward, but I'm not going to rush it. Just go with the flow. You know, everything's just going to be fine. That kind of energy. But you're like, oh my God, you know, you know, and they're like, just calm down, you know, just be peaceful. Like that flow energy. <laughs> you see very like peaceful energy there. I feel like they're all like, um, like happiness and rainbows. And they're just very confident and strong. And you're like, maybe like hypersensitive or something or vice versa. However, that um, works for you. And I think you need to get in that energy more like them and just kind of go with the flow. Let it just all go naturally. And I did see the spider here. There's a spider web right there. So I feel like you're trying to weave this web like very quickly very, very quickly, but there's a need here with all this green here to really um, stabilize yourself, ground yourself, especially she's covered in greenery there. So, so, okay. So let's clarify you. So, wow. So we have the hermit clarifying your energy along with strength. So <laughs> you got strength over there. So you're definitely in each other's energy here. So the hermit, you know, that's about going in and do, doing that inner journey, soul searching work, finding your path, your way, your light, you know, and just, you know, healing yourself and really thinking and contemplating things and being strong and brave, just like this person, like I had said, to be more in their energy and then their energy comes out in your energy. So <laughs> I think like whatever your person's strengths are, you need to kind of sort of embody that same energy and just kind of like go inside and reflect like why am I hypersensitive, oversensitive? Why, you know, if you have fear and things like that about the connection, like why do I feel this way? And overcoming that with the strength energy and knowing that, because that also kind of reminds me like the Empress energy. So know that, you know, you have value or if you can be like the mother of the deck, embody all the energies of all the queens and you can have the inner strength to just go with the flow and be more resilient, calm, peaceful, kind of like your person I'm kind of feeling. Whether, you know, that's you or them or if, you know, the roles of vice versa here. So let's see what, that's too many. Okay, I'll take these two. Your person here has the chariot and the five of wands. So... Yeah, they're conflicted because I I see that I think they see that you're in this energy with the chariot of like just wanting to rush ahead very very quickly, um, and they're very conflicted about that. They just want to take a more peaceful, harmonious approach. Just kind of go with the flow, you know. You know, you're both committing anyway, and it's like no rush. But the the chariot is like rushing ahead very quickly. But it is an energy of being balanced, success, victory, accomplishment. A lot of passion, drive, and ambition. But they have conflict here. So maybe it's a little bit of a struggle between the two of you. One wanting to rush quickly and the other one wanting to be more like in the flow and taking a more slower approach. That's kind of what I'm getting. So let's um, look at the actual situation. I'm getting that for your energies, but let's look at the actual situation here for you, Gemini. So we have the Four of Pentacles and the Empress. Wow. So the Empress is coming out on your side. And I had just said that of um, being in that Empress energy, knowing your value, your worth, birth of something new, um, embodying all the queens of the deck, being the mother of the deck. You could be a mother, uh, wanting to be a mother. It could be that also that maybe you're wanting to be a mother. You want to like, you want to get married. You want to have the home. You want to have children. You want, like, you just want it all to happen like quickly um, but the Four of Pentacles energy here is an energy of kind of like, it is stability, foundation, stability, holding on, not letting go. So you're definitely not letting go of this person. Um, but know that you can hold on to your stability, 
in your inner strength, because you do have strength there, and holding on to that energy of being like an more of like an empress, that you can embody that energy and stay in that energy. So we have the moon here, and we have the two of pentacles. So, you know, the two of pentacles is about juggling around. So the moon energy can be about just very deep, deep feelings between the two of you. Um, sometimes it can mean secret and illusions, but I'm not really getting that. Um, it can be, you know, not seeing things clearly. But we do have the two of pentacles, which is juggling. So I feel like this person has a lot of inner conflict and juggling, like, you know, they want to take it slow, even though you want to go quickly. And the moon, I think, right here in the middle is like, and there goes the train. <laughs> Confirmation. Um, moon not seeing things clearly. Like, how is this going to work out, you know? you know, we're kind of butting heads a little bit in this, you know, moving forward a little bit, juggling things around. I feel like they could be juggling around uh, what to do here. And we just had a card fall on the floor. So we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. So they definitely want to solidify this with you, and they want that long-term commitment. They do want the happy home and family, the children, the legacy, uh, sharing of everything together, you know, material, finances, um, children, grandchildren, everything here with the Ten of Pentacles. They definitely want that with you, and they see that in the long term, but they're juggling on why you want to rush it so fast. So the moon energy is there, kind of like right in the middle of your spread, is like, okay, how is this all going to play out? Both maybe not seeing clearly how this is going to, um, the path you're going to take together. And they're really juggling around, okay, should we just rush forward? But I want to be more in the flow. And you're like in this energy of like holding on to them. But if you get in that Empress energy and be more in like their kind of energy, I see things will just flow a lot easier between the two of you. If this makes sense for you, I mean, this may not be for every person out there, but I hope it makes sense. You can leave me a comment below how this makes sense for you. So let's get some advice for you, Gemini. I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have tipped or donated, sent a gift, uh, reached out for personal reading. All your support really does mean a lot to me. I couldn't do it without you. So thank you, thank you. And I really do appreciate all of you. All right, so what do we have here? We got three. So we got the nine of cups. So we got happiness, joy, wish fulfillment. We have the Knight of Cups, so definitely moving forward in love here. The Hierophant to Commitment. So yeah, this is long-term commitment here. Hierophant is about long-term commitment, marriage, wishes and dreams coming through, through uh, true, and moving forward in love here. So this definitely is going to move forward in love. Wishes and dreams coming true, happiness, joy, commitment, marriage, or long-term commitment, whatever it means for you. Let's get one more. Actually, this is advice for the connection. Advice for the connection. Two of one. So making plans, decisions, moving forward. So exactly, I have felt that with these plans and decisions moving forward, you, I think you need to both get in sync with one each in each other's energy, in your uh, ideals, in your ideas, and how you want this to move forward. It comes to like a compromise and kind of like, you need to get more in sync. So I feel like your energies aren't matching. I mean, there is love and everything here, but it's just that the energies aren't matching as in the energy of how you're moving this forward, at what pace. So the advice here is to make plans and decisions at the same pace and sync at the, you know, the same, you know, level. Because you definitely, you know, are moving this forward to wish fulfillment and commitment or marriage here, definitely is the advice is, you know, to keep moving forward in this love to commitment to your happiness and your wish fulfillment. But you need to, because you see they're not even at the same level here. So you need to get at the same level at the pace that you're moving this forward, I feel. All right, so let's see what the possible outcome is here. So we got the Ten of Swords. Ooh. Oh, I don't like that energy. That is like a painful, hurtful ending of some kind. But then we got the Ten of Wands, which is about laying down heavy burdens. Two tens of like endings and burdens and pain and ugh. 
Why is that? You have all this positive energy for each other and the outcome, uh, the advice, but then the outcome, we got like two endings. So let's see, why is this here? Seven of Wands, being a little defensive and on guard, fighting. Hmm. So, I don't know. Let's get more clarity here. So I don't know why that would be here. We got the Knight of Pentacles energy, which again is moving forward, very stable, grounded energy, being very smart, practical, cautious, very slow moving energy. I feel like because it's moving, like they want to take such a slow pace that you feel like um, this may just end. Maybe this isn't going to happen. All right. So, oh, the tower. I mean, you could have a little, I mean, there could be a little bit of arguments or fighting about this moving forward, being, you know, defensive uh, between each other. But uh, it's either going to make or break the bank here. If you can't come to terms on how you want to move this forward, solidify this. You have all this energy of long-term commitment, love, everything here. A very strong connection. But if you can't come to terms and be on the same level, the same page, it may cause a lot of friction between the two of you, fighting, arguing. And it may cause an ending, a very hurtful, painful ending here. Being very defensive towards one another. Because you definitely have the tower there. Which can be, you know, arguments. Oh boy. So well, let's get let's get a few more. I don't want to just leave it at that. So let's get a few more here. So we got the six of pentacles. So that's balance. That's balance. So that's a good energy. And the king of pentacles. So I feel like there may be, you know. Fear of things ending, maybe a little fight, argument, being a little defensive between one another. But I think you will find balance between your energies. You know, you may end up taking a little break from one another. But, you know, you may end up coming back together where there'll be much more balanced energy. And someone really being in that King of Pentacles energy of really wanting to be that care and nurture and giving kind of energy. This is husband, wife, material, king, queen, doesn't matter. So, you know, somebody definitely wants to be in a committed relationship here of equal give and take. And coming forward with that pentacle and offering that. But, um, I don't know, until you see eye to eye or can be in a balanced energy at the same level moving forward. There may be a break here or there may be, you know, some arguments. But if you can balance out your energies and be more stable and grounded moving forward, then I think, you know, this could work out. And we do have the Nine of Pentacles. This is single independent energy, but being, you know, abundant, it can take care of yourself. But here's the lovers here. So that's your energy, Gemini. So soulmates here coming into union. The three of wands. So, yeah, there may be, you know, a little break from one another here. Patiently waiting. But then the eight of cups energy is about walking away, but you can always come back. So I feel like there may be, or you could be on a break right now until you try to figure this out. Uh, or maybe you're putting things on hold until you can figure this out. But, um, and that's why we have a single independent energy. But we definitely have soulmates here. Just waiting, you know. Waiting, you know, till you come back together. Will they return? Will they come back? Kind of energy. But then you have the Six of Swords about, you know, going to a better place. Usually it's together, but we only have one person here. But here's Temperance brings the soulmates back together. It's about patience, having patience with one another. Peace and harmony and balance. A lot of energy of needing balance. And then you have a passionate, fiery new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. Manifesting a new beginning. King of Swords, being open, honest, and truthful with one another. Manifesting this brand new beginning. Very fiery, passionate. Bringing soulmates back together. Peace, harmony, balance, patience. Going to a better place. The Six of Swords. Peace, harmony, and balance. You know, you may walk away to each other from each other for a time, but you can always return. You know, waiting. You know, how's for your soulmate, you know, coming back. And maybe, you know, going off and doing your own thing for a while here until you can figure this out. But 
for some of you, I mean, this could be the end or for some of you, it could be just a break and then you come back together and finally everything just goes back, you know, in flow for some of you. So besides Aquarius energy here, we do have your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have the Magician here, which is Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius. Uh, let's see here. Do, do Gemini, your energy. And then we do have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces. The Empress here is Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Cancer. So those are all the signs I see. So, wow. So it's turned out to be a, kind of a deep reading here for Gemini. So Gemini, I do ask, especially if you're new, if you do like my energy, uh, how I read, you can check out my channel if you like what you see. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. I think now I have were I was offering a lot of different types of readings, but I think I'm going to be concentrating on biweekly, general, and love. And then I've also started a new series. It's a bonus reading for every sign monthly, where we take a look, a little look at love, life and advice for uh, the month. So if you're interested in all that, please feel free. Like I said, subscribe, hit the bell. If you do, thank you, thank you. So let's get some closing messages for you, Gemini, in love at this time. For love at this time. Can we get some extra messages for our Gemini, please? I feel like these two wanted to come flying out. So we have Our Lady of the Inner Gate, and we have 19, which is 10. 10, Our Lady of Divine Presence. So this could be a very divine connection here. Uh, I think divine energy here is really trying to shed light on the situation, help you both define your way, your light, especially with the hermit there on your side. Um, definitely I felt soulmate connection here. And we have Our Lady of the Inner Gates. And I don't think I ever got that card before, so I just want to read... Um, a little bit and that divine presence does remind me of like the empress energy so know that you do have that divine energy within you of that empress energy <clears throat> if you can be more in that energy i think this if you can be in sync and be in the same energy and go with the flow with one another this i i think we can avoid all this uh energy here but uh let's see what this says for our lady of the inner gates and if you're wondering, you know, is my person ever really going to commit? Are they just being kind of lackadaisy? Maybe they really don't want it. Yes, they do. But they just have a very calm demeanor. And they're like, you know, not going to rush it. Just go with the flow. And, you know, they're not really worried worried about it. They just have a very calm, peaceful demeanor. So don't misunderstand that for them not wanting uh, this with you. So, so this is the Mother Mary Oracle. So it's talks as if mother mary is speaking so that's why um it may sound a little odd when i read it but uh, our lady of the inner gate my initiations are sacred and no matter what ha appears to be happening in your life i am behind it i am always guiding you towards your heart for within that sacred temple the most precious treasure is kept to obtain that treasure you will need courage trust and faith wow like that em <laughs> empress energy wow to obtain that treasure, that's like finding that treasure of that empress energy, emperor, emperor or empress energy within you. Wow, okay. <laughs> I bestow my grace willingly upon you, my child, without restraint. You must provide the trust in me that gives you courage to take the journey. Your rewards shall be riches beyond all imagining. Exactly with the Ten of Pentacles there. Wow. Okay, so... And I do feel that divine presence there also really trying to play a part in that also to help you bring out your divine energy also within you. So let's get uh, one more for you, Gemini. Whether this is you or your person, however it resonates for you. Um, all right. Just want one more. Okay. So we have Our Lady of the Sacred Sun. 
So the Lady of the Sacred Sun is Mother Mary. 15, which is 6. It's just about going to more healing, balance, and place. So Our Lady of the Sacred Sun, the Sacred Sun, is Jesus, is the Divine Masculine. So I feel like exactly this is Divine Counterparts here. Divine Presence, Our Lady of the Sacred Sun, Mother of the Divine Masculine, which was Jesus. So definitely divine energy here, a feminine and masculine energy. So, all right. So, and that is to know you have that divine masculine feminine energy within you to be that emperor or empress, whoever's watching this. Oops, upside down. Our Lady of Soul Birth. So this is like five, which is also about change. So some, something needs to change here, definitely. Um... It's like birthing of a whole new soul, like finding your, yourself, your soul from deep within and uh, who you truly are and being in your power and not giving into stress, worry, fear, anxiety, being over emotional, over sensitive or anything like that. It's like the birthing of your true soul and it could be the birthing of a true soulmate connection here moving forward if these energies can balance out between the two of you. Okay, Gemini, well, that's what I have for you. So best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.